back. It is now June 7th. It has been, I think, maybe a week since I uh, ended the last vlog, the first part of this. Um, it is Friday today. I have been, after work, I have been clearing out the last little bit of stuff in the room. Um, this weekend, I'm hoping to be able to go and buy my third bookshelf. I did measure these a little bit ago to make sure that another one will fit and it will um i'm probably gonna end up having like a little bit of space maybe like a couple of inches on each side but that's fine the shelves will cover most of that wall which is perfect um and then i still just have this stuff here there's all books and stuff that i need to put away but a bunch of cups and stuff down here that need to go downstairs my switch that needs to go back downstairs and some stuff down here on the floor that is either garbage or to be donated um, other than that, things are starting to look really good. Once I have the bookshelf built and in place and everything, then I can kind of shift everything around. Um, and yeah, everything is looking good so far. You can see I have like a bunch of books sitting up on top of other books because I don't have enough space. So I'm excited to get that third shelf so I can really expand everything out. I do have some books back behind these books also to kind of lay there because I didn't have space. So once I have that third shelf, I will have plenty of space. So. Um, I need to clear out, there's some stuff back in this back corner that I'm going to need to move and figure out what I'm going to do with, and then there's some stuff back here as well. Um, I also have this shelf that I need to take downstairs and get rid of. Once I move this shelf, I am going to take this desk and shift it closer to the door so that it's kind of more like in the middle of the wall. That way there's room, I need to make room for the shelf over here. So yeah, that is basically the update for now. Well, actually. I do have something exciting arrived yesterday. Let me turn the camera on. So I had been trying to figure out what I wanted to do on this wall. Originally, I was thinking about moving this picture over here and doing like a collage of things on that wall. Um, but I actually ended up doing something else, which again, I'm super excited for. I do have, so, so this picture is gonna stay here. I might put some stuff around it, maybe a couple of shelves, or maybe like a shelf on either side or something. Um, cause I do have some stuff that I would like to display. Like I have these, um, some Disney like postcards that I really like that I would like to display somehow if I can. Um, but what I got for this wall, I'm super excited about. I got a bunch of, um, I don't know if you guys know what this symbol is. I'm trying to find out here. Mixed tiles. I don't know if you guys have ever seen, um, the little like square, uh, pictures that you can have printed and they just like, uh stick to the wall like kind of like a command strip um they stick to the wall and you can arrange them however you like um i ordered 12 of those they had a special one on and you got 12 for 99 dollars, which is really good um i'm not gonna show you guys which pictures i got yet i'll wait until everything is on the wall but i did get a mix of um basically i got some disney pictures their photos that i myself have taken that I'm, i really like uh pictures of our dogs and then some um, quotes and stuff that I love. There's bookish quotes, um, like, there's one that's just like in my bookish era, and then there's like quotes from actual books. There's a Lord of the Rings quote. There's a, uh, I forget if it's Avatar or Throne of Glass. I think it's Throne of Glass, uh, quote. And then there's a, a Lord of the Rings, did I say Lord of the Rings? There's, there's Lord of the Rings quote and a Lord of the Rings like print picture. And... A Bible quote that I love and I forget what else but yeah so I'm going to get those up on the wall I don't know if I'll do it today I might I might try to tackle this stuff over here because I don't really know what I'm gonna do with it um, and then I will focus on getting those pictures up but once they were up they are up I will show you guys what those look like so yeah, here's the progress for now um, the main focus now for the room is going to be the last little bit of clearing up and then getting the shelf in here and um, that part's gonna be difficult only because I have to, one, neither Nick or I can carry the bookshelf up, like the box of the shelf, because it doesn't come you know, put together. Um, it is very heavy, so last time when I bought both of these, I had to actually open the box downstairs and carry the parts up individually, um, and then build the shelf. So I'm gonna end up having to do that. And then also, I need to clear out this stuff so that I have room because in order to shift the bookshelves, I'm gonna have to take all of the books off. So I'm gonna have to pull all these books off and put them like on the floor behind me um, to shift all the bookshelves and then figure out how to rearrange everything. 
with the decor and stuff I have that I want to put up. So this video will be mostly a little bit of cleanup, um, but mostly focused on the bookshelves themselves. So yeah, that is the update for now. Um, I'm going to get this last stuff, like I said, tackle this stuff, and then I will um, probably check back in with you guys when I am either putting these pictures up or when we go to Target to grab the next bookshelf. It's a few days later. It is Monday, June 10th now. I have spent the weekend cleaning up more of the room um, and getting some things put away and um, just more progress made. I'm not going to show you everything because I have some stuff that I want to wait that is like midway done and I want to wait until it's completely done before I show it. Um, but I can show you guys that most of the room is cleaned up now. So let me turn the camera around. So I had a piece of like the top part of this bookshelf that was kind of around the room. There are pieces over here that I just took downstairs and some pieces over here that um, I took downstairs. This all has to go to um, like Goodwill. This table is going to be going downstairs, so it's going to open up this part of the room uh, pretty well. And then this is just stuff that kind of needs to be put away. And you can see I have stuff all on top of there that needs to be put away as well. Um, but yeah, I've made progress uh, over the weekend, mainly, like I said, getting those book that bookshelf taken out and everything. And this was this thing was covered in like cups from when I had my Etsy shop open, it shop open, and things like that. So that was cleaned up, and yeah, slowly making progress. Um, I also, uh, let me turn the camera back around. Also on Sunday, I went to Target and I bought my third bookshelf. So I'm hoping by the end of the week, I will be able, maybe like Thursday, Friday, I can start taking these books off my shelves to get these shelves shifted over and then doing bookshelf reorganization. Um, I think I'm gonna be keeping the rainbow shelves or the rain, rainbow like setup. Um, the only thing that I might change, I'm thinking maybe one of my friends on Instagram, uh, his handle is Bookish Dad, Bookish Dad Reads. I'll link it down below. Um, he just did a thing where he has his like TBR shelf, and he has all the books turned backwards, so like, he doesn't know where they are. And his kids are picking a book, and then he's reading that book to try to like whittle down his unread books. I think I might try that. I think I might the books that are unread flip like backwards so you see the pages not like the spine and then slowly make my way through those and have that be like a reading series the only thing is that i have quite a few of my books so i feel like a good portion of my shelves would be that a good portion of my books would be backwards then so i don't know for sure i'm gonna do that i've been kind of thinking about it playing around with the idea um yeah that is basically the update for today um i'll probably be back like i said later on in the week to start on the bookshop organization so it is the next day. I think the last time I updated was yesterday. Um, I am off or done with work, I should say, a little bit early. It's about 3.20 and I'm off at 4. Um, so I think I'm going to start carrying up the pieces of the bookshelf. I brought some pieces up. I brought like the metal. I can never do this. You see there's like metal pieces. Um, I did bring the metal pieces up but I need to bring the actual wood portions of the bookshelves up. So I think I'm going to do that. That way I can start getting this bookshelf to put together. But I do need to, actually let me turn the camera around. I do need to get this all cleared up. This is stuff that needs to either be thrown away or taken to Goodwill. So I need to do that. And then this is all stuff that just kind of needs to be put away. Um, I had to go into the office today because my laptop, this is not my actual laptop or my work laptop, the one I've been using, that one died yesterday. And I ended up having to go to the office today so the IT could take a look at it. So this is on loan, but I got two new screens while I was there. so I cleared off my desk got that fixed up i've wanted to get the desk cleared off anyways as part of this room revamp um so that is done i have a bunch of stuff kind of over here in the corner that needs to get cleaned up as well because i'm going to be shifting the bookshelves over and then the third bookshelf is going to go here so i need to get that cleared up um yeah i am going to bring the shelf up um once the bookshelf is put together and is uh you can see dobby rolling around right there um and is in place well first of all before i can do anything i need to remove all these books from the shelves which is why i need to clean up this area because the books are going to be there until um 
I shift everything over. And when they're like this on the shelves, it doesn't seem like that many, but I've learned from previous reorganizations and on hauls and everything that it actually is a lot of books when they're like stacked up on the floor. It is a lot of them and they take up quite a lot of room. So I would like to try to do that in a day if I can. Um, so I am going to um, do that. And I just said to you guys the like book organization portion of this. You can see I have stuff like stacked up on top of the books. So I need to clear that out also. And there's a bunch of other stuff, other books and stuff over there as well. So yeah i am going to probably just include some b-roll of me like clearing this stuff out and then building the bookshelf and then you'll get a good amount probably of book organization as i pull these off and um get the shelves reset up so i'm actually excited to show you guys that and yeah let's get right into it shelves and just some random bits and stuff that were around the house to um, Goodwill and out to the trash and stuff so I was able to clear up the kind of stuff in the of the room like I was talking about uh, so now I think what I need to do next is first of all move the little bits that are still at the front of the room but then I think it's time to start taking these books down um, I was going to build the shelf I think it's going to be too hard to build the shelf and then take the books down. I think it'll be easier to take the books down. I know I'm shifting the shelves themselves to the, to my right, so this way. Um, so I think it's harder to take the books off because they're stacked down I have to shift the bookshelf over, then build the new bookshelf, and then just kind of scoot it into this way to build. And then from there I can work on organization and figuring out how I want to set up the shelf and now that I'm going to have to do it. Um, I, I'm not gonna, I don't think I have enough books to fill up the entire the shelf. I don't think I'm going to have some space left over because technically I do have space left over on these two. Um, well, let me check the camera and I'll kind of show you guys. So as you can see like on this shelf for example I have my harry potter books down there and i have the uh game of thrones set that i bought and then on this side it's hard to see because the boom bag's kind of covering it but only about half the shelf down there is taken up and then the rest is just like knickknacks and like this frame picture so really these two bottom shelves are not actually full the way like the rest of them are um so technically i do still have one of these two shelves so, like I said, I don't think I'm going to fill the third shelf completely, um, but I think I'll have more space. I like having, um, so my books, my shelves are kind of a mess right now, so it's hard to tell, but I like having, you can kind of see right here, the little, like, pockets at the ends of the shelves to put candles or, like, display things, or sometimes I like to, um, set up, like, a book on the end like to display it so kind of how i have well, it's kind of hard to see but how i have four things up here just kind of standing there i like to set books or like how i have the fan with the upper one right here i like to stand books up at the end and just kind of display them um ones that have covers that i like or this one that i know i'm going to be reading soon i'll do that and i also like the idea of seeing a shelf with some like tbr books that i know i'm going to be reading soon or for like in that month um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna have more space to do that, more space to kind of display things, and really just kind of spread out. So, I'm very excited to get to that. I also need to clean out this corner because once I shift these shelves, the majority of the bookshelf, the new bookshelf is gonna be there where all that stuff is. So I need to clear that out as well. Um, I have just been kind of sitting here in my bean bag, just being a little bit lazy, so I haven't really felt like starting to pull all this down um because i'm also going to need to take down these christmas lights which it was paid to put them up so i'm gonna have to take them down um because i don't want christmas lights on my two shelves obviously um and then i also have these i don't know if you can tell but on the middle here i have fairy lights on these shelves i need to really need to take down anything because they don't actually work i think i need to just change out the batteries i don't know but 
Um, again, they're only on two shelves, so I need to take them off so that I can either see if they do work and put them across all three shelves, which I don't think they're long enough to go across all three shelves. Um, or I need to slow down and get new ones. So I'm about to do that as well, which is going to take some time. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get started on all of that and hopefully I can make some progress today. I don't want to have to have all of these books sitting on the floor for um, like days on end. I would rather um, do it today, especially because I am off work today as well on Monday. So hopefully I can um, um, get this done quickly before I go back to work. So yeah, I'm going to jump right in. Uh, you guys will probably just see some deal now of me um, removing all of the books and trying to kind of keep them somewhat organized and then build that shelf and then I'll check back in once those things are done. Okay hey guys, it is uh, one or two days later, I don't even know. It is June 16th now I think, and I have been working on the shelves in here. I took off the Christmas lights that were on them and the fairy lights that were on them. I'm eventually going to get new ones to go on there. I separated them as you can see. I measured it out to measure the space in between right here to make sure the new bookshelf would fit in between. I figured it would be easier to get the new bookshelf in between than if I had tried to like finagle it into this corner with the desk right here. Um, originally I had kept these two together and I was going to put the new one here. I don't know what is up with Snapchat and these balloons. Um, originally I had put them there but or I was going to put it there but I figured between the bookshelf and the desk it was going to be hard to shuffle that new bookshelf into that corner so instead I separated the two and I'll be able to just put the bookshelf the new bookshelf into the middle in this space right here. And like I said, I did measure it. I'm hoping to be able to, I did measure the ends too, like right here and on the other side to try to make them even so that hopefully there'll be equal amounts of space on either side of the bookshelf so they're kind of in the middle of the wall. Hopefully I'll be able to get that as close as possible. Um, I also wiped down the shelves. They were super dusty, so I wiped those down, took out, I had stuff like underneath the shelves that I pulled out. And yeah, I'm gonna be like this for tonight. This room is a disaster. There's stuff all over this desk. Um, <clears throat> I did move the bean bag out of the way somewhat. And then you can see I have all of my books there and a bunch of stuff up on the shelf too. So there's stuff everywhere that's a mess. Um, but yeah, tomorrow I'm going to, I have the whole new bookshelf up here. So tomorrow I'm going to get to work on that. I'm gonna try to get up early in the morning. I'd like to get the bookshelf built i've already i built both of these ones so um i'm familiar with building them i don't think it's gonna take too long so i'll try to do that early in the morning and then that way tomorrow can be spent on or most of tomorrow can be spent on getting the books back on the shelves getting the shelves organized and beautified and getting this desk cleaned off before i go back to work on tuesday um although i think i have to go into the office on tuesday but either way i still need to get this desk cleaned off and figure out of how i want to arrange everything on the shelves so yeah i'm gonna leave this here and tomorrow will be the fun day of building and organizing the new shelves
Okay guys, there you have it. There are all three shelves put together. I love how it looks. It looks like it's pretty even to the wall. And I like that the shelves themselves kind of blend into the wall. And then all you can kind of see is the black railings. I actually like that. Uh, and I think it'll look really good once all of the books are on there. And yeah, so I'm going to start getting those up on there. I did actually end up zip tying on the back side the metal bars together so that the bookshelves would stay together because they were kind of leaning this way and that way away from each other. So I zip tied them together and it made the whole thing a lot more sturdy because it's not anchored to the wall. But once the sh books are on here, it's pretty sturdy and we don't have kids, you know, to worry about pulling it down or anything like that. So um, it's pretty sturdy now. And then like I said, once the books are on there and it's heavier, it's definitely a lot more sturdy. So I have that and then I was gonna show you guys um, what I have been working on on the side over here. I spent a good like two hours this morning trying to get these up and making sure it was all even. So I ordered these mixed tiles. Um, I'll put a link down below, see if I can find like an affiliate link. And I'll put it down below, see if I can get you guys like a discount or something. Um, these were $99 for 12 of them. And I think they're like eight by eight or something or six by six maybe. So there's 12 of them. And I have, Scripture up there, picture of Boston. That is a Taylor Swift lyric. A picture of Dobby. And then just another quote. A picture of Lily. A quote from Lord of the Rings, from Fellowship of the Ring. Then this picture of the Shire with Gandalf in there, you can see. I love that beautiful painting. This is a quote from Sarah Mate J. Mass. I think this is from Thermal Glass, I believe it was. This is a picture that I took in Disney World. This is a BTS quote that I have always loved. And this is another picture from Disney World that I took. So I really love how that turned out. It was a pain, but um, I did like washi tape to try to make them even and it left some residue. This room has really weird like gloss paint, but I looked it up and it looks like maybe um, like dish soap will remove that. So I'm gonna try that in a little bit. Um, so that's done. And I have the paint bag here. You can see Dobby's on there, all my books and stuff. And then that desk is a mess. So I'm gonna start getting organized, putting stuff away, figuring out where I want stuff to be like decorative wise and move on to kind of the last step of I guess there's two more steps getting the books back on the shelves and organized and then cleaning up so let's get to it Okay guys, here is the finished product. I think it looks really good. I'm really happy with how it's turned out. I love kind of the, like the expanse of it and how they come across all three shelves. Have plenty of room for decorative stuff on the top and bottom. So plenty of more shelves to grow into. I'm really happy with this and I think this wall turned out really well. I'm going to clean up back here and push the bean bag back in that corner and that'll be my little reading corner. Eventually I'd like to get maybe like a little table or something to go here or just kind of somewhere to put like my drink. If I'm, usually I have some kind of drink coffee or something when I'm reading so something like that. I still need to clean this back up. Go through this stuff. This is all trash and get my desk cleaned up um but I think I have to work in the op from the office tomorrow so uh it might be a few days before I can do that but yeah I will show you guys 
more kind of b-roll of cleaning up and then maybe do a little bit of a kind of shelf tour um and then that'll be it for these vlogs i am very very happy with how it's turned out